cars, a 21-gun salute, taps, and what could be a large crowd at Omaha's National Cemetery Tuesday afternoon, all for a soldier no one knew. No one should die alone. Vietnam veteran Stanley Stoltz died nine days ago. The funeral director had trouble finding family, so he asked the public to attend in an obituary. A plea for support and an attempt to find out more about Stoltz and if he had any family. It went viral, even attracting the attention of CNN reporter Jake Tapper. Much can be said over the years about the hatred that pops up on social media. This is one of those times where the social media should get a big thank you. Soon thousands of people shared the story. Hundreds showed up today. It's just been a tremendous outpouring of support for this man and even non-veteran affiliated groups. Legion Riders will be there, the Patriot Guard will be there, um, and of course the uh, Veterans Honor Guard. Dick Harrington is with Final Salute Society, a volunteer group that has represented about a couple dozen soldiers at the National Cemetery over the past two years. It's extremely important that that somebody represents a veteran, nobody dies alone. This is where he will be laid to rest beside other heroes and not alone. We begin tonight with a touching tribute to a Nebraska veteran. So many people turned out for a funeral today that law enforcement was needed to unclog the backed up traffic. At the very end, Stanley C. Stoltz was not alone. Time and again today, we heard it from veterans and civilians in the crowd at the Omaha National Cemetery. Apologize for the delays. Uh, we weren't expecting this outpouring of love and affection for one of our veterans. And we just looked around and said, here's his family. You know, and it's true. Um, veterans, we're all family with each other. That, that's just the way, we, the way we roll. I closed up shop and said, I'm heading to Omaha. I'm going to go bury my brother. To give a Vietnam veteran the service and delivery home that he deserves. I just think it's amazing how many people came out today to support this man who left this world not knowing that anybody was here to support him. And there's so many people here to support him in the freezing weather just to show that there's people who care about you no matter who you are. So many showing up to pay their respects. So Dick Harrington did what family members often do. He accepted the flag that had draped Stan Stoltz's casket. Now the Omaha National Cemetery plans to keep that flag and they hope to fly it next Memorial Day. Those at the cemetery did say, usually a good day on a funeral, they get 15 to 20 cars in these cases. And in this case, there were hundreds that we spotted. In fact, they lined the entire Omaha National Cemetery. Some even parked on the highway and walked.